Hey everybody, it's Tommy. I'm here in Flagler Beach and we're here visiting Diane who's hiding. Don't say anything, <laughs> Diane. Don't say anything. And uh, we're here with Brandon, uh, Darcy, myself, and Kyle who flew down from Chicago. Uh, came down for my wife's birthday. Her birthday's uh, in two days. But uh, Darcy wanted to spend it up here with uh, Diane and Brandon and Flagler. So we're going to hang out here today, chill out. Uh, listen to some good old country music and have some cold snacks and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go go fishing we'll see you then It's a stingray. Of course. All right. Hey, Flip the bill, Kyle. There you go. Fucking stingray I've caught up here. We can have skate fillets. Scale it. Oh, it's fighting pretty good, little mangrove. That's a decent, he's a clean looking one, huh? Mm -hmm. Good morning, so it's two days later. Uh, Diane, don't hide, don't hide Diane. There's Kyle. Not but anyways, okay. we went out fishing yesterday. It was super, super low tide, but we had to jump off the boat uh, and Brandon had to power out just to get out because uh, it was so low. But we are gonna try our luck again today. We're gonna wait for high tide this time, which is around, around noon, right, 12.30? Yeah. High tide? Yeah, we're gonna head out then. Uh, go see if we can catch the finger mullet and try and hit our spots. Got to get my wife on a fish. I'm sporting a new fishing outfit. She's got a new fishing outfit. Look at it. <laughs> it was cold here this morning earlier. It was like in the high 40s, 48, I believe, Darcy, you said. Yeah. But it's warmed up now. It's probably in the 60s, so it's perfect fishing weather. Not a cloud in the sky. So we'll see you out there.
Brandon saved the day. Got a probably two dozen finger mullet. And we got the first one soaking right now. We just set up here in this one spot. We don't fish this spot that much, but there's oyster beds all the way around us, so hopefully we'll find something. Darcy, help her. You ain't getting in without <laughs> Alright, you're right right on it. <clears throat> Alright, so we did everything we could. We threw everything we had. We had little maharas, we had pinfish, we had shrimp, we had live mullet. Just nothing. Not a single bite. It's just too cold out here. It's actually freezing. But um I was hoping to get something on a hook for Darcy for her birthday. This is how cold it is. They're layered down. So I'm just gonna grill up some chicken and we're gonna have dinner here in a little bit. All right, so, because we knew fishing was gonna be tough today, uh, we picked up some boneless chicken breasts. We flattened them out, I hit it with a mallet and they've been marinating all day in some mojo. And I'm gonna make some Cuban chicken sandwiches here in a minute. I'm gonna grill it up. And uh, this will be a treat for Darcy. She loves these sandwiches. So, and I don't think Diane and Brandon's ever had it. So it'd be a first for them. Hopefully they like it. So what I got going on here is boneless chicken breast. I pounded it out with the mallet, get them nice and flat so it cooks evenly. It's been marinating in mojo for about eight hours. And we got some garlic powder, sea salt, pepper, and some uh, fresh cilantro, or not cilantro, but fresh parsley from Brandon's little garden there, his herb gardens. So I'm gonna get these all grilled up and then we'll put the sandwich together. All right, I already flipped it one time here. You don't wanna overcook it though because you're cooking it a second time. So you don't want it to dry out. So just a quick sear on each side. And then it'll finish off in the flat iron and kill it. All right, I'm going to cut these up here. Make serving sizes. And some pickles. Uh -huh. There you go. Two? Yeah, perfect. And that one's prepped up and ready to go. All right. You say you just put a little olive oil on the pan? Yep. Just, just and then while it's, while it's cooking, a little bit of sea salt, salt. on the top. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Cut a diagonal. Yep. Where's that other uh, skillet? Is under her? Right. Good. I want to wipe this off first. I'm going to set that on there and you want to get nice and flat.
That one's perfect. You gotta put the temperature up, babe. I did. More than 80? Wow, this might be coming down on your head, but it'll be alright. You'll be alright. You can take that a little bit for me. There you go. All right, these are done. That's it, guys. Ready? That's how simple it is. Food's done, guys. We're gonna cut them in, uh, in halves, though. Oh, you make them like real Cubans. No kidding, I'm married to a uh, Cuban girl. I got to do it. With uh, a oh, spatula, just yourself? press down. Oh. Good? <laughs> All right, if Brandon says it's good, it's good. But that's it, guys. It's that simple. I wish we would have caught fish and we could have cooked fish, but it don't work out all the time. But give that a shot. You won't be disappointed. It's very, very good. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.